Join us on a journey through Henkel's transformation under the leadership of Caspar Rorsted. In 2005, Rorsted stepped into the world of Henkel, and three years later, he ascended to the position of CEO. It was during this time that a daring shift began to take shape within the company, a shift from a culture of complacency to one of fierce competitiveness. A new era had begun for Henkel, one of competitiveness and excellence. What defines a winning culture, you may ask? Well, it's a culture where every employee stands in alignment with the company's vision and goals. They're not just working, they're thriving, motivated to excel beyond the ordinary, to innovate and bring new ideas to the table. It is a culture of growth mindset to achieve the impossible and reshape the future. This isn't a one-time victory, but a cycle of success that feeds into itself, ensuring the company's growth and prosperity are sustained over time. This was the culture Rorsted aimed to cultivate at Henkel. Under Rorsted's leadership, Henkel embarked on a journey of transformation. How did Rorsted instill a performance-driven culture at Henkel? Rorsted's approach was direct and ambitious, setting crystal clear targets and promoting a mindset of unceasing refinement and excellence. He redefined values and a revamped performance management system emphasizing accountability. He didn't just aim for the stars, he built a rocket ship to get Henkel there. His leadership style was both assertive and inspiring, driving Henkel's employees to strive for nothing less than the best. This approach brought about a significant shift in Henkel's culture, moving away from complacency and towards a culture of competition and excellence. Every transformation journey comes with its share of positives and challenges. Rorsted's approach ushered in a wave of enhanced accountability and a sharp focus on performance. This cultural shift while fostering a competitive spirit wasn't without its challenges. Potential employee burnout emerged as a concern as the drive for excellence demanded a high level of sustained effort. But it's important to remember, no journey is without its bumps and hurdles. Despite the challenges, the transformation journey continued. Post-2012, Henkel continued to motivate high performance. They did this by setting fresh challenges and focusing on constant growth. The company's goals evolved, reflecting the changing business landscape, while the emphasis remained on fostering a culture of continuous improvement. This shift wasn't just about meeting targets, but about inspiring employees to exceed their own expectations. As a result, Henkel's performance culture didn't just survive, it thrived, becoming a cornerstone of the company's identity. This performance culture became a cornerstone of Henkel's identity. Henkel's culture change significantly impacted its international strategy. This shift propelled the company to new heights, enhancing adaptability and competitiveness in the global market. It became a catalyst for change, fostering resilience and agility. This global impact was just the beginning. As Henkel continues its journey, every employee plays a vital role. It is time to reflect. What did you learn from this success story? What can you implement in your organization?